and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Rakdos Zombies. This was a donation deck from Yud, uh, viewer of the chat. Okay, you come up here? Hey, boy. Um, that we played a couple of weeks ago that was a lot of fun and I wanted to try it again. I've changed just a couple of things since the last time. Uh, before, we had Liliana's in the main deck and ended up moving those to the sideboard because they cost a lot to try to play some Angrath, some five-man Angraths, because I really like this Angrath the Flame Chained. Uh, so we changed that, and then the other change was we had Carnival Carnage, two of those before, and we just had a bunch of Bedevils in the sideboard. I'm moving two of the Bedevils to the main deck instead there, where we can have some more targeted removal. But yeah, we're just, you know, our aggressive zombie deck, that's what zombie decks are. Um, we have a little bit of staying power, though, with the Dreadhorde Invasion. We have the Judas that give us some reach and can pump up the power of some of our creatures. Death Baron gives all of our zombies Death Touch, which makes it hard to block. And then this Captain of Chaos can give all of our zombies Menace. So having like Menace and Death Touch can mean that they have to block, like to be able to block these zombies, they have to block with two creatures, but then they also have Death Touch. Um, yeah, we can get some nice, good, aggressive starts here with this deck and hopefully kind of have like some little reach with like these Menace, Death Touch, Judith, like so, some kind of random effects here widespread brutality out of the board last time was an all-star against the creature decks bringing that in we don't have it in the main deck uh with not every deck being creature decks and everything we want to kind of try to be aggressive as we can game one but then games two and three they usually get more interactive and we bring in some brutalities to sweep up the board loved that card but anyway that's that's our deck rakdos zombies and yeah, zombies and angry cows. That's what Angrath is an, is an angry cow. That sounds like a good uh, line for the YouTube channel. Rakdos zombies featuring one angry cow. One mad cow. Get the gutta bones out there. Alright, so Lazotep Reaver is two power just like Diagraph Ghoul. Like they're both two power, but however, Lazotep Reaver can turn into four power whenever we if we play like a Judith or a Death Baron, so uh, where Diagraph Ghoul only turns into three power at that point. <laughs> Angrath must be awesome at barbecues. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, zombies and Angrath. This is mad cow disease. As a deck. Yay, no cry of the carnarium. Yay. Ramming speed. I Tater. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Or welcome back, I should say. Getting all the hype boats in the chat. Um, can't always make the stream, but I'm absolutely loving them being on YouTube. Aw, glad you're enjoying them there. <laughs> Are we playing Little Angrath? To give our creatures menace, make them really hard to block. Give us that extra reach there. All right, we'll be cracking open a pack. Hawkeye loves his ear rubbed against the against the table. He really likes that. Uh, we're playing against like some control stuff, so I guess I want duresses. 
theaters. Um, I mean, I'm kind of assuming this is Esper. We only saw blue and black lands before we killed them. Scotty apartment complex. So is that too much stuff? So that's 71. Take out strike because we got these other things. I guess let's let's wait before we bring an elder spell. So this is 66. Um, cut death baron. 62. Got one Judith and a Lazatep Reaver. <laughs> Dredge is insanely fun to watch, but I can't pilot it. <laughs> it's a tough one to pilot. I always think that like I'm gonna be losing and then suddenly it's like, oh we win. So we're a 22 land deck. Like, what if we keep this and then we just, like, curve out? And just draw all spells, and then we get, get to actually cast, like, our big Angras and Lilianas? I guess this is better. Arguably, arguably better. Whoa, this is Grixis. We playing against Grixis. Weird Grixis. Well, I was the one worth leaving. Drix sleeps so alone tonight after forcing out their life. So we have all of our like theater pourers, planeswalkers, all that kind of stuff. We have like a bunch of like they call sail for high and dry. Um Yeah, like Angrath. We have a bunch of things that are like pretty powerful that I don't really want them to get negated. They just like, you know, have a couple of burn spells that kill some creatures, it's no big deal. And they had to make that block there. Because otherwise... Um, if they don't block my zombies a 2-2, and whenever they shoot the 2-2, then it still kills the freebooter. Does this do damage? Okay, to any target. Just fuel for the fires of freedom. The only prize I desire is your head. I'm kind of testing to see if they have another negate. Like, since we already saw a negate, I did. I'm going to wait till next turn to play Angrath. Blows temper the blade, swine. Mm -hmm. Plus Angrath can help us play this card also. Hmm. Let's go to attacker, see what happens. Hooray! <laughs> Please run. No. Not hooray. 
No fire, no steel. Butcher is your favorite card in war after Bantu. I do really like this card. This is a really cool card. That's up there for me, too. Yeah, Angrath's still a two for one. We're still looking really good here. Ooh, discarded River's Rebuke. Well, this is looking pretty good for us. This deck's pretty sweet. Rakdos cards are cool. Yeah, our opponent is playing a pretty basic Grixis deck. Not prepared for this. Ooh, the Drowned Catacomb. Oh, poor opponent. Oh, I feel bad for them. I'm just sitting here with this rekindling phoenix and three islands and three swamps. They just want to play their phoenix. They just want to play their birdie. Hey. Hey, you are, Sonic. All right, we are one and zero. You can see Hawkeye. I don't know whatever he's doing. There's like a, you know, like there's a um, part of the desk there. It's like a two-level desk. Hey. Gutter Bones into Dread, Dread Bo uh, Dreadhorde Butcher into Death Baron. That's a keep if I've ever seen one. Well. Wow, Growth Walker is difficult. So Dreadhorde Butcher is a really cool combo with Death Baron here, uh, with the Death Touch. Because if my opponent blocks Butcher with Branch Walker, we get to trigger the Butcher and kill the Wild Growth Walker. <sighs> kind of saving the Bedevil here to maybe take out the Tamiyo with it.
And that's what happened. They blocked Dreadhorde Butcher. So Death Touch with the Butcher gets to kill the Wild Growth Walker. So that was pretty nice. I would like to test a new hypothesis with you. To the library. Alright, yeah, especially with Command the Dread Horde, we have to be attacking them and getting their life total down low. So let's go Bedevil here. I have become too involved with my work. Okay, good. It's not another. Your corpse will make a nice. Scene. Not another uh, Wild Growth Walker. That's good. I grow bored with this fight. Just gonna ignore the Vraska for now, I think. Talked about wanting to get their life total down as fast as possible. Yeah, they're looking at cards to to command the Dread Horde. Dead. D E D dead. <laughs> that was the absolute dream. Oh yeah, we are one to one to know right now. Good call. Sorry, Hawkeye was up here earlier. I forgot to change that. All right, now what are we doing? Dreadhorde Invasion is just going to be too slow. All right, let's go with this. Could could play Elder Spell instead of Bedevil. But Bedevil does get to kill Wild Growth Walker and stuff too. Elder Spell is probably worth it. Hmm. Alright, let's go with this. I don't know, four mana Angrath giving our creatures menace could could help get our points across, but maybe like is is duress better than fork mana Angrath? I don't know. We're gonna keep this because we're gonna draw red mana. Our red mana is right there. Not red card, red mana. No, that was just game one. Bleh. All right, come on, deck. We need to land. We need a rant. We need to land. Didn't get it. Um, I don't think I. I don't trade these two, considering I can go Death Baron. That then doesn't trade. But beating this Tristani is going to be a little, little tough. 
Toughish. We need. To, we just need lands. And this is over. Red, okay, so they're playing Nicol Bolas. Like, they might have sideboarded it out, but that's, that's what the red mana's for. I don't know. Do I want brutalities? Not if we can't draw red mana. And yeah, not without Dreadhorde Invasion. I'm just going to run it back. Okay. This, we got a little bit of land. Uh, I wish Judith, but when he lands, like always. All right, Tamiya down. Dreadhorde Butcher is going to have to do a whole lot of work for me. Whole lot of work. Alright, one more land. And we can have the Captain of Chaos giving our creatures menace. You know, basically make it unblo unblockable this next turn. Could really start doing a lot of damage. Come on, deck, get this land drop. Land drop, land drop. Tilt. Get that thing out of here. Alright, no land drop, but... Death Baron's pretty nice. Get this land to give my creatures menace. I mean, do I? Maybe I just shouldn't be attacking, honestly. Yeah, 
Hey, what's up, Guru? That was a pretty good block. I'll trade that 2-3 Reaver for Wild Growth and Ranch Walker. Here. If you want it, fight for it. Perfect. So we're the Captain of Chaos. They have to double jump. That works. Well, Dreadhorde doesn't matter when they don't have life. Don't have to worry about command the Dreadhorde. But yeah, you called it. They had they had the Dreadhorde. The Captain of Chaos. Helping us get through. But those two wins, we saw the power of... Um, our Death Baron, given our creature's Death Touch, really, really helped. That that Death Touch really helped. <laughs> Command the Dreadhorde Butcher. <laughs> GG's. Need another black mana for Bedevil. Okay, got that. Danto Vanguard. Let's go Lazotub. Butcher doesn't really line up super well because they just pay the four life. And then like you can't act then you can't also ping the Vanguard because they already paid that four life. Against two vanguards, though. Against the two vanguards, if they block with one and pay four life, we can target the other. So obviously, we want to target the tapped one. Don't want to just like let them pay four life and then just be able to block with the untapped one. Alright, so they're down to 11. 11's not a lot of life. So many butches. I like... I like where we're at on the Butcher vs. Vanguard side of life right now. <laughs> the game, the match isn't over, Zero Scalps. This is just game one. So obviously they're a feather deck. I got you. I got you.
Never seen water burn? Give me this. All right, so V Feather Deck. Um, do I want to just go full out widespread brutality? V Feather. Ugh. I mean, Liliana Dreadhorde General is amazing if it resolves, but you know, six mana. Pretty tough. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to just not change stuff up. Let's try it again. I think zero is counting like game wins, not match wins. The Arcanist. Has been stricken from the record. Yeah, we playing against Feather. So it'll be a 5-5 five five next turn. I think that's Trample. It's just not even worth blocking. Going to reamass. Lava coiling the one one seemed a little extreme, but the Defiant Strike will let them lava coil again.
maybe they will, you know, maybe they won't. I need them to just not kill this token for a turn. Need them just to use their red mana on something else. Well, we can try. Okay. Um. We're still going to be one a mass short. All right, so they're playing Clarion. Also, okay, let's see. All right, I'm tired of Dreadhorde Invasion. Let's just get this card out of here. Kind of want to go control back, also. Like, Theater of Horrors, Liliana. Let's do this. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Theater Horrors could do some good work for us. Liliana Dreadhorde General is so amazing in this matchup, but obviously we have to be able to get to uh, six lands, which is gonna be tough, but that's what Theater Horror does. It helps us get there. We do have to draw a third land to start with. Can we draw a third land, please? Please, Zach. Uh. Well, this card doesn't do anything. It's just a 1 3. <laughs> Good thing I, I boarded out the only card that it actually stops. <laughs> Yay, land. All right, now. Theater. What? My hair is on fire? There's no problem. Fire can't solve. I really don't know why they're attacking with their honor guard and, and like willing to trade damage here. Here. Certainly hoping for one of those two cards to be a land, but we are digging faster towards lands, even though we missed another land drop. Not ideal, but... It is good to see you. Strength is born of struggle. I will not be moved. Good. Got the fourth land. Let's keep on going. Deliver us to victory.
Gross. Land. Dang. Land here, play Angrath, steal Honor Guard, kill a Johnny would have been perfect. But I'm gonna just kill this Ajani right now. Go on without me. Getting hit. No! I just want to see the cards underneath it. Oh, that's going to cost us this game. I couldn't tell what that card was, so it was a Judith. You know, I just wanted to see what that card was. Ugh. I clicked the card first, but it was like a little laggy, so it didn't do anything. And then I clicked like the card like that, and that's really frustrating. No, they did not require. They did not retire the 750 quest. They're, those are still a thing. It's only cost us. So of course I was going to be shocking in and playing Angrath and stealing their three three. Not the honor guard, the other card. That was definitely the. My plan there, I think, besides, so that was my plan. I think the one thing that I, I kind of regretted there was whenever I did bedevil the Chandra. I think I should have attacked them and then duressed, and and uh, I could have like duress plus like Dreadhorde Butcher. I, I think I should not have uh, bedeviled the Chandra immediately. I think I should have um, duress Dreadhorde Butcher that turn. Or I think I may even had like double duress and just done that first. And we could have like taken a Johnny um, and so on. So I, I think there was one one turn that I shouldn't have just immediately bedeviled oh live and learn yeah we definitely missed important land drops for sure that that certainly hurt us It's interesting they just ended up taking that. I know my responsibility. I've got time.
This is hardly my worst defeat. Mass tokens not so good against Little Teferi. It's a good card. <laughs> the only prize I desire is your head. I'm pretty dead. Pretty dead. Should have attacked with that Dreadhorde Butcher before. Good hand. Good hand. Turn two hero, turn three to fairy, turn four bell hunt, turn four turn five bell hunt. That's a tough Come one. On. Well, Death Baron's a good draw. It's a good draw. Yeah, maybe we can finish this up. I have practiced against many. I have just the trick for this. Devil's trains in the storm wrecked sea, I go. They're just going to make infinite blockers now with the hero precinct one. I need to draw Angrath's again. Need more, more Angrath's. Meditate and prepare. So much life. All these bell haunts and Othakayas. Okay. That could be a card. Hopefully the last card is just a land. I think I trade this for Bell Haunt and Hero if they want to do that block. This is the problem with the mass. I've got it. Death Baron, perfect draw.
course, I'm attacking them to try to get my gutter bones back. I've got time. Lame. My Dreadhorde Butcher was going to be so good. Oh, that was going to be such a good card. Yeah, Samuel, that's a good, good replacement there. Um, basically, play anything you want. Just just play something that that has uh, four power. You know, you, you want to play Ripjaw Raptors. That'll work too. Just you know, play something that triggers off Kiora. If you need to replace Varric's Blade Wing in that deck. All right, Storm, have a good night. They've gained go. 16 life this game between other Kayas. And Bell Haunts. Need them to keep drawing That's lands and like us it. drawing Angrath. Alright, so they're at 18. Stop. I'm known for my excellent timing. No, I am not making this up as I go. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Oh yeah, yeah, knucklehead. No, that was I was trying to see what the card was under, like whatever the new card was under the theater, and it just activated it. Yeah, that was that cost me that game. I was gonna be playing the five mana Angrath that turn. This this card, I was gonna be playing this and stealing one of your creatures. That was the plan. I talked about it afterwards, but I think the turn that I bedeviled Chandra, I think I misplayed that turn. And that I needed to just attack you and then let you have the Chandra for another turn and, and cast like a duress and a like you know, cast some of those cards out of out of there, cast like a couple of duresses. Gained so much life. Fire no steel. They've gained either 22 or 24 life. 
One of those two numbers. I'm not sure exactly which. Fire, no steel. I want to attack up here. There you go. Should be able to end it. And we drew the Angrath to finish this up. They don't have any outs. And Angrath is great. All right. Um, so let's play. I think we get rid of, I mean, Dreadhorde Invasion, honestly, that did just give us, like, a threat that just kept on coming back over and over and over again. But I think we play Theater of Horrors instead. I like Cruel Celebrant as a card. I think that's a really fun card. I think it's a really well-designed card. I'm not... Not certain it's good enough for this metagame. Honestly, the one two body just doesn't the one two body just isn't relevant too often of the time. I don't know if I can even play duresses. I think I want all these cards. I'm going to try keeping in these Dreadhorde Invasions. I don't think I want Brutality because of Hero. But it is, it is good against specifically Hero. It's not really good against anything else. All right, well, we're going to hit our land drops to get towards Liliana this game, so that's good. I mean, this is just a, a removal spell here, but I'm still playing my, my cards. I'm not going to just not play Dreadhorde Butcher into the Tyrant's Horn when, you know, like, we're going to be playing Death Baron. Because, like, if I don't play it, they just play Di they just kill the Diagraph Ghoul, for example. I know my responsibility. I'll protect you. All right, playing three mana sp card over one mana card. This might be a bad idea. The focused and disciplined encounter no obstacle. Thought. Well, we can kill Narset. Action. So they don't get to impulse again. A 
I shall miss your company. Now I hope our opponent has Cry of the Carnarium. Well, honestly, I don't hope they have that, but. Trust me, I have a plan. Right on, skip. Hurry! We have 10 damage that we could attack them with. That's a good draw. Because that should be Liliana gone. So I can either kill both Teferis or attack them for 10. Probably should just kill both Teferis. Have them just down to three cards. Wow, Theater of Horrors. All right. Well, they could have Bell Haunt here. That makes me discard Liliana. I bet that's that's probably what they're thinking. It's only a matter of time. I hope they don't have Bell Haunt. Or they just have another discard spell. Sorry, I'm late. Hold that thought. Want me to phase you out of time? I was I was honestly considering sending everything at Teferi because of Tyrant Scorn. You know what? Like honestly, I'm not done yet. I decided against it and just hope they didn't have it. But I was I was seriously considering just sending all three creatures at Teferi. All right. Three and one. Rakdos Zombies. Doing its thing. This deck's pretty sweet. Some just some fun cards. Hmm. Basic Mountain can be really tough for Dreadhorde Invasion. I'm still going to try it here. Cool, glad. Yeah, glad you're glad you're liking some of these upgrades. Need more water. Ooh, I got a little bit of water left in here. this invasion thing amassing. Please don't kill my amass token. 
Need to keep it a massin. It's probably bad. I'm all right, Nada. That's probably bad for me. Oh, there'll be nothing but dust left when I'm done. Gonna be a long, long time. Attack. I'll be back after I've licked my words. You'll see. Yuck. That's so perfect to kill my Dreadhorde Butcher on their turn. All right, well, <clears throat> hopefully with that lightning strike gone, they can't actually kill my invasion token and we get to start gaining life. All right, lifelink. Yeah, Chandra against Spellbreaker is rough, but Chandra against Shalai is also rough. All right, no more Phoenix. Now our invasion is going to be a 9-9 the next turn. No. Stop. That's nine power that they got there on defense. So I probably don't want to attack with the 9-9. Nine -nine. Probably want to wait a turn. Make it an 11-11. Um, yeah, the... the as long as they just block with Phoenix, I'm fine. The, the problem is, is blocking with all three of these and then killing my token. And then they have Rekindling Phoenix again, and I have to start over, and then they can kind of keep killing the token. The problem, of course, is if they just keep playing more creatures, then it's going to make it harder. Yeah, because next turn will be 11-11. The turn after that, a 13-13. I think I definitely have to attack when it's the 13-13. Because yeah, even then I would be dead to a, yeah, like a light, another lightning strike could be rough. Good card. It's a good card. All right, come on, deck, draw a spell. Draw a spell here. So they have to block out. Hmm. 
in order to kill this. So I can kill everything except for the Phoenix and gain 11 life. Yeah, I just have to. If I don't, I'm going down to seven before my next turn. This thing hits me down to three, and the Twister can kill us, so I, I don't have a choice. Certainly not attacking with the other creatures. It's just a complete waste. Don't need to do that. Well, I guess it's not a complete waste, because then if they want to chump block with Phoenix, then the next turn, you know, it, then they're not killing my 11-11, and it's going to a 13-13. So it's not a complete waste, but um, I think I kind of like my chances of keeping this 5 power in play, where if, if they do quadruple block, then I take out Twister, Spellbreaker, and Elves, and then they're left with the 4-3, where I'm left with this 5 power still. So I'm left with 5 power, they're left with 4, and I have the two Dreadhorde Invasions. Take him back up. I I assign damage zero scalps. So I'm um, my opponent doesn't just keep the twister and regain the phoenix. I I assign damage. So I would I would do five to twister, four to spellbreaker, and one to Lanwar Elf. I would deal zero damage to the phoenix. Yeah, so didn't kill it, so that means it's going to just keep growing, so it'll be 13 power next turn. Well. Hmm. No, I don't think our opponent has a way to remove our token. The invasion... Now drawing that lightning strike gives us the opportunity to strike the phoenix if they block with a bunch of creatures. All right, but just blocking there, I think I think I just take out this phoenix now. That token All right. Our army that we amassed was too big. Too fierce. This is a matchup where I think we need to take that army and spread out that brutality. Hmm. We're, if we're doing that... Uh, just cutting like this is just a matchup where I kind of cut diagraph and gutter gutter bones. Those things will die to the brutality and die to all their burn spells and all that kind of stuff. 
I kind of actually don't want Angra this Angrath. I think this Angrath may be too slow. I don't know. If we get get to, like, that, that battlefield that we just had, but, like, if they run us over, this Angrath's not going to really help. So if we get rid of Diagraph and one Angrath, bring in that Bedevil as well. How does this look? Maybe good enough, who knows. We'll see. Acceptable opener. No, you cannot get more than one zombie army. I mean, you you can with uh, uh, Spark Double. Something that comes to mind. Yeah, we could have another land in the sideboard. I don't think I would want to take out... I hope there's not a Ripjaw Raptor now. Other stuff I don't really mind using the Bedevil, but Ripjaw Raptor would be like the one card... Seven. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to take out for that 23rd land, but I understand what you're talking about of how having another land would be good. Whenever we bring in Liliana. Yeah, Judith was not a bad top deck. Not a bad one at all. <clears throat> Alright, so that we're at we're at the four wins right now. That that makes it look like we're at the five wins, but we are four and one and we are about to face the final boss yet again. Having another good run here with Rakdos Zombies. All three of our decks tonight have been doing pretty well. We've had some long leagues. We've had basically all two-hour leagues here. No, you couldn't target the O1 with the Butcher because putting the O1 onto the battlefield and targeting something with the Butcher, both of those triggers happen at the same time. You, you put them both on the stack at the same time. So the O1 is not on the battlefield. Uh, whenever you're putting on the stack of like what to choose damage with the Dread Hordes, you can't just choose the O1 to deal damage to. All right, we're on the play against the final boss with triple one drop opener. So we'll go like 
turn one gutter bones, turn two double diagraph ghoul. Diagraph ghoul. So we need to we need to draw a red land and then maybe some three drops as well. Maybe this is Esper control with a slow hand. Sure. I already got six power in play. Already got three turn clock. I hope they have another thought razor. <laughs> so of course we do not want to see Cry of the Carnarium or Kaya's Wrath. Anything else and we're good. If we draw if we draw a three drop here, we win. If we draw a lightning strike, we win. If we draw a dread horde butcher, we win. Land, we do not win. It's Kai's Wrath or Bust for them. Or Cry the Carnarium. And that's a bust. Hmm. Last time I didn't bring in Duress here. Well, like, see, we just, all we saw was Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure. They just had t turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thought Erasure, and then we killed them. So we don't really know if they're going to be, like, like actual control or are they like the hero deck again how did I, they're probably hero how did i board last time against hero because i i liked how i boarded last time against hero what did i do i think i took out diagraph ghoul and I think I took out the ghouls and then like these two Angras, or no, two Death Barons. Or a Death Baron and a Judith. I may have taken out these two Angraths. I did, I took out Baby Angrath. Yeah, because the curve with like bringing in the Lilianas. Okay. I. Uh, it's impossible to know what tier one decks will be whenever standard rotates. We only know what sixty percent of the card pool will be right now whenever. Standard rotates. We only know three of the sets. There's going to be two other sets. So we, we barely know half of the card the card pool. So knowing what tier one decks would be whenever a rotation happens is just actually impossible. Don't know like what the mana base situation is going to be like. Yeah, I just can't, can't possibly know. We're going to get one more set before rotation, but then there'll be another set at rotation. TCK with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there. I really do appreciate that. And that support there. Thank you very much. Good looking opener. I would not
not say there's a 0% chance that Land War Elves gets reprinted. I wouldn't say that. It's certainly higher than 0%. That is a card that could get reprinted in Corset 2020. Considering it was in Corset 2019 and in Dominaria, considering it was in those like, like two sets recently, that makes it seem like it's a card that they like more than normal. But yeah, we are losing a lot of one mana cards that are big in the format. Opt, Shock, Land War Elf coming to mind. Well, that was a quick call on the Judith. third land would have been really nice. I would have played Theater of Horrors here as the third land because of Kaya's Wrath, probably. Yeah, I think I would have just played the Theater of Horrors. I'm just going to fire this off, because hopefully we get to play like these other things. I'm just going to fire this off while I have the open mana. I mean, obviously we could just uh, not draw a land, and then Sure. <sighs> Come on, that would have been a perfect time to land Theater Fours. Brass Contempt Gutter Bones. So yeah, like, playing Absorb, they definitely seem like more of a controlling deck, so I think if we... You know, if we go to a game three, I'll bring in Duress instead of Lightning Strike. Because, I mean, obviously we'll see more of their deck, though, before that, too. Hmm. Hostage Taker. Well, now... That's a card that makes me feel silly for... Not sure it makes me feel silly for casting the lightning strike. Damage. So they're down to eight. If we can hit a bunch of land drops, we'll be doing okay. Ooh, that was good for us. Ascanta, Ascanta, Erasure, Kefnet. Those are difficult cards to beat, especially the Kefnet. Show remorse, I'll show restraint.
Keep up the pace. All right, well, Death Baron can give our creatures Death Touch to be able to attack this Teferi with Death Touch. Uh, worst case scenario, of course, is instant speed removal. They would kill the Death Baron, and then they'd be able to block effectively. Certainly hope that the two cards, they don't have any instant speed removal or counter magic. In fact, it'd be better if they're just both lands, okay? Or... So... Do I just bedevil the 4-4 and then only attack to fairy for 4, but... The best value play is having the, the Death Baron in play and then attacking Teferi, but I'm going to do the safest thing of try to get... I think this is the safest way to remove Teferi and not let them draw multiple cards a turn. Please don't have a Counterspell. How did that possibly take very long to counter? Do they have two counter spells and they're debating on which we one to use? To quickly. We need to top deck our third Bedevil. There's only three in the deck. We've already drawn two. We need to top deck the third to kill this Teferi here. Trust me. Bounce the token. You'll thank me later. Bounce the token. Let's try this. They didn't bounce the token. Be dead here. No time for a break. I'm glad my opponent didn't just like how they ticked up their Teferi. If they would have just ticked up their Teferi and passed, I would have definitely been slamming the Death Baron and trying to attack with a bunch Nothing. of life or a bunch of Death Touchers, and they could have just instant speed cry the Carnariums. Warrior Queen Necromancer. All right, so this is definitely not Esper Hero. Now we know that. We didn't know that whenever we were sideboarding before. So it's Esper Control. So let's get all these duresses. An Elder Spell would be nice as well. And I want these Angraths. Two. And we're going to cut the Lightning Strikes. And what else? All right. Death Baron and Judith. We're going to have to cut some of these. Let's go. Let's go two Death Baron, one Judith. I want these Diagraph Ghouls in on the play. Nah. All right, game three. Verse final boss. Like always, can we draw lands? <laughs> 
Win condition creatures. We attack our opponent with creatures. Creatures are win conditions. That's what we do. If you ever see creatures in the deck, that's the win condition. Oh my gosh, I, I was just talking. I didn't, I didn't even play the gutter bones on turn one. I should have done. Ugh, missed out on two points. All right, Thought Erasure, Cry. Oath of Kaya, Absorb. I can't beat Kefnet. I can't beat this hand. So I want to take Cry. I can't beat this hand. Not with what I got. Not at all with what I got. It's either Othakaya or Cry. Now we cry. Yeah, I, I should have shocked for Gutter Bones. Maybe that two damage will help us out. I don't know what I'm going to do against this Kefnet. That's the that's the problem here. We need to draw a Bedevil for Kefnet, but then it'll then it'll come back still. First up is just drawing lands. All right, twenty third land in the board, definitely. We've been stuck on lands way too much this league. That was really unfortunate for us. That Mortify. Hmm. That was also really unfortunate for us. Our opponent should be at 12. I, I yeah, could have dealt an extra 2 point of damage. Those are the, probably the two worst cards that we could possibly see. Mortify to kill Dreadhorde Invasion and then Cry of the Carnarium. Would this be better as Lightning Strike? Potentially. Ramming speed. We'll see if we get our opponent down to two or not where that extra two points that I would have got in turn turn two matters. We're pretty close. What phase are we in right now? Are we okay. His opponent was de deciding whether or not to reveal. Yeah, we just had the... That was just... Previously, that was an Ocarina of Time. Same. From Zelda. Never lands. If 
We would have had five lands there if we could have played Angrath, ticked up. Our life would have been amazing. I honestly don't know why our opponent's not attacking. I don't know, they're going to end this game before we will. Like They have a faster clock, plus they have Absorb the gains in 3 life to counter my first thing. Green and white's my favorite color combination. Alright, so 4 and 2... Both games two and three here got stuck on lands, which is rough. Uh, didn't sideboard too well for game two. This Elder Spell has looked really bad as well. But yeah, game two we just we kill our opponent too fast. We didn't get to see anything about like their their deck. I cast Lightning Strike when I didn't need to, and then we didn't have it for a hostage taker later. Because we were stuck on mana. I don't know who my favorite Planeswalker is. I don't know. Maybe Angrath? I don't know. Angrath's cool. I like Huatli too. I guess I like the Ixalan Planeswalkers. I don't think I really can win this. Considering why I have to like draw some spell that matters and then that gets absorbed and then I have to draw some other spell that matters. And like, you know, drawing like a a creature that gets cast down does not count as a spell that matters. For example, that is not a spell that matters. And I have to do that before this Kefnet kills me. Don't think that's happening. Honestly, that that mortify for the Dreadhorde invasion was a huge deal here. All right, we need to draw a Bedevil. Get this Kefnet out of here. That'll get Kefnet out of here. Okay, maybe we can do it. I do hope you make this battle exciting. Our opponent countered that crappy Lazotep Reaver when they really didn't need to. This will slow, you know, just buy us some time. Go, Liliana, go. Smelly, but effective. I guess I'd like to draw a card, thank you. I'll find a use for you later. Um Yeah. Debating between playing gutter bones or hitting them once with theater fours. But this will account for two damage if it gets deal damage this next turn. 
Stop. Good help is so they draw Kefnet. Which can block a 2 2, and then they're taking 4, and they're at 4. We did it! Racto Zombie's not actually 4 and 2, actually 5 and 1. I can't believe we actually won that. I really cannot believe we won that. Five and one. I mean, our opponent just used that absorb when they didn't need to. They could have just used the cast down. Or just, you know, yeah, not counter that Laz Lazatub Reaver. Yeah, Liliana pulling us through and it counts yet again. <laughs> the deck's full of surprises. Yeah, that was, that was surprising. All right, so yeah, I think we could use a mountain, an extra land in here, which I guess would just be a mountain. Um, or here, if we, no, let's do it like, uh, I guess we have to go basic lands. I need to get the same mountain. So I need to get that War of the Spark Mountain. Am I doing basic lands? There we go. I think I want to take out the Elder Spell. I think that's what I'd take out would be the Elder Spell. We could take out the fourth Widespread Brutality also. That's an option too, but we didn't play against any of like the green mana creature decks. Those decks are really popular, and, and against those decks, wide, Widespread Brutality is just awesome. But yeah, I think we need another Mountain in the sideboard for, for whenever we bring in Liliana kind of thing. Yeah, we could go Black Memorial also. Like That's, that's, certainly, that's certainly an option too. I was thinking Mountain here though, because this deck doesn't have very many red sources. And so maybe, honestly, like whenever we bring in widespread brutality, we should probably take out a swamp and bring in a mountain also. Because it's only 13 red sources. So probably just want another red source in that case. So that's why I'm thinking mountain. But Black Memorial could also be a good option there. Yeah, this deck was pretty sweet. It was a lot of fun. Both the Angrass did a lot of a lot of good work and Theater Horrors was really cool. Liliana's good. All these zombies were good. Death Baron in particular really helped us out against the Wild WoW Growth Walker deck earlier. Pretty sweet little little deck here. Pretty sweet little deck here. Alright, so that's Rakdos Zombies. Zombies. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like button. I would really appreciate that as well. Um, and subscribing to the channel would be nice also. Uh, but thank you so much for watching Racto Zombies, and I will see you for another video. Yeah, that's true with